Hello everybody, good morning, what's up? So today's video is a, as I was talking about the title, you can tell, is an everyday fall easy makeup tutorial. I don't know what I'm calling it because that's a mouthful, but something along the lines. So today's weather is actually like kind of warm, but I was really like, okay, so like we can go glam, we can wear something nice. I actually wore a nice shirt to class, it's not a t-shirt. Um, yeah. But I felt like filming this video because why not? So I'm going to take my uh, Flower Hydrating Primer. Any primer works, really. Whatever primer is best suits your skin, um, obviously. Because there's like a quadrillion primers. You can use a pore filling primer, a mattifying primer. You can do literally like whatever you want. Okay, so then I'm going to take foundation and I'm going to mix two foundations. This is a Rimmel foundation, so if you're looking for a good drugstore foundation, um, it's this one. Rimmel's really good too. I mean, Wet n Wild is um, alright too. I just didn't, I like this one more. So, obviously it's whatever you prefer. Rimmel has a smaller shade range, so I don't even know if this is my shade. Um, I'm definitely going to go back to the store and pick up some other shades because um, I love this foundation. But the One Wild's a good option too. I really just have been, don't like this combination too much. And I think it's the One Wild foundation. You know what? I think this foundation might be breaking me out. Okay, we'll decide that on a later day. <laughs> just gonna take some concealer. So I'm actually going to do some, <clears throat> I'm going to get my voice back first. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this long, uh, this lasting finishing breathable foundation from Rimmel. And I'm going to put that on top of my giant pimples and like areas that are just red. I like to do this when I don't wear foundation because this is basically my skin tone. And so um, it really helps cover the redness from the pimples. Okay, so next one I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my uh, I feel like I'm just gonna take my Rimmel my Rimmel why is it all Rimmel? I don't know. I like that brand I guess. Um, and they're from the drugstore. This is the Stay Matte Powder. All of it has worn off because I just use it so much. This packaging is like abused because it's just worn off. But this powder is so so good. Again, from the drugstore, so so cheap. Um, last night I filmed a video. Of products I want to use up and um, um, I actually filmed the video twice so I filmed the video first time and I actually put the makeup on my face but I just hated it because it's products like really that some I just don't like some of them whatever so it just turned out like ugh, I was like oh, I'm not posting that and um, then this morning I woke up and like my face was kind of breaking out and so I was like <laughs> so I think it's either my wet and wild foundation or my smashbox primer water one of those is breaking out my skin Okay, so next I'm gonna do is next what I'm gonna do is brows. I'm just gonna take my makeup revolution brow pencil. Again, this is from the drugstore makeup revolution. It's a really nice brow pencil. When Wild also has a good one. Um, 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 I have the shade medium brown, which I'm getting used to because in my other brow pencil, the one I was just using right before I finished the one right before using this one. Um, that I just used up was too light for me so I was putting it on but it was like really light and so this one's like actually my color and so I'm trying to like be a light hand to like gradually build it up to actually be my color because like it gets crazy right away also when I don't wear makeup if you're not wearing foundation this breathable concealer from Rimmel it's really good for cleaning up the brows and like it's spot concealing but it's really good for just cleaning up the brows like making um everything look nice because sometimes if you use your regular concealer shade to clean up your brows you're not wearing any foundation it leaves like a light skin stuff because concealer is not supposed to be your skin tone you know what I'm saying but yes okay so next one I'm gonna do is take my um essence brow gel this baby only has a couple months left in her. 
Okay, so next what I'm going to do is... Let's just get bronzer out of the way because I'm about to cringe hard. So, I'm going to use my e.l.f. I'm going to mix my e.l.f. bronzer here and... Because this is kind of like a contour shade. And um, my LOL bronzer from... A -O, um, from Shop is the dollar um, at shopmissay.com. And this is like a couple bucks from e.l.f. Both, one is drugstore you can find at the drugstore. The other one's kind of like drugstore, just drugstore price. So I'm just going to use the e.l.f. one first and see what happens. I'm going to use e.l.f. one on a smaller brush. I've decided as I go. I just need a good bronzer, y'all. I don't even know what the heck this is doing on my face. like watch bronzer collection videos to get an idea of like what good bronzers are and this one's not it <laughs> um but and then i'm gonna take this one because this one's kind of killing me um because really bronzers is really hard for me and um i look like i got beat up um and everyone has like 50 million shades of bronzer. I'm like, nobody, nobody in their collection that I've seen. I've watched like so many bronzer tutorials. I'm just going to take this brush and kind of hopefully blend that down. Um, nobody has one bronzer because they have, but they always have like, they don't have just a fall one and a winter one. They have like one with this undertone, that undertone, whatever they're feeling that day. And I'm like, can we just have one bronzer that actually looks good with the skin tone? Because literally, I'm trying to like see in my mirror. A good drugstore bronzer is the NYX one. It has a lot of shades and it's just the best one I've tried. I just don't have my shade right now, so I need to go pick that up because I love that bronzer. And that bronzer is good and not horrible. Okay, so I just real quick used my... So just use some loose powder. I like, I'm using the Airspun. There's a bunch of um, Cody Airspun powder and translucent from the drugstore. It's really nice. Um, I'm using that just to clean up the bronzer because it's a little crazy and I'm not really down for that. But I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. To eyeshadow. So for my eyeshadow base, I like to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer because again, it's not my shade. And um, this just helps the foundation last longer. I mean, not foundation, that eyeshadow lasts longer. And, um, yeah. Stores will try to sell you, and brands will try to sell you, like, eyeshadow primer. primer. But, most of them are just as good as concealer, so, whatever. Okay, so then, what I'm gonna do is, this palette is Jaclyn Hill palette from, um, Morphe, it's $15. So I'm just going into my big Jaclyn Hill palette, this big boy, and I'm just taking um, the shade called Silk Cream. It's just a shade that I can set my concealer with um, so everything blends out nice and pretty on it. So I'm gonna take the shade Rush right here. It's a brown shade. And I'm gonna take the shade Butter from the big Jaclyn Hill palette. It's really hard to like show you. I know like most people have this palette already at home, so like you know what I'm talking about. These are like really basic, just neutral shades that are really nice for like fall. Okay, looks good to me. So next one I'm gonna do is I'm take the shade mugshot right here. And mix it with Roxanne from the Big Jaclyn Hill palette. It's just like a similar brown tone shade. It's really like, honestly, you don't need these specific palettes to do this. Because um, most palettes just have these shades anyway. So I'm literally just packing on the outer corner. And then just dragging the rest of it into my crease. Most palettes have um, just regular brown shades. And that's what these are, they're basic. But if you're interested in these palettes, they're both sold at Ulta, which makes life so much easier because morphe.com is playing. I like squint a lot because I'm actually blind. <laughs> 
No, I just don't wear my glasses really. And so squinting is just normal to me when I'm looking at something kind of far, but not really too far. I still squint. It's a whole lot, but whatever. Okay, so next one I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brown shade. So I'm going to take the shade Secret right here, and I'm going to take a deeper dark brown again. Uh, this is the shade Chip right here. And again, you can find these shades in like basically every palette that you come in contact with. Actually, I'm switching. I'm taking the shade Mocha. So that's even more common. I'm just packing that right on the outer corner. I'm using the same blending brush, which sometimes is not smart when I want to go back and blend. But um, I like to do it so I don't have to wash my brushes like every day, I do eyeshadow. I don't use the same colors every day. I'm really like, I'm packing it, but I'm kind of blending it because I just want it to be nice and precise in there. Um, again, these shades are so common. Like, you don't even, you don't even know to need to go looking. Um, so next, what am I going to do? What shade do I want to take? Okay, so then I'm going to reach into the shade Meeks right here. It's just gold, but if you, the reason why I'm holding it up like this is because if you look at this palette, I was going to use this shade. You can basically use any shimmer shade that you want. Um, that is like gold. I think gold is really fall. This one's really fall. This one's really fall. These are all like really just fall right here. So any shade like that, even just... Um, if you have just this palette and you're kind of using one shade from each palette and not mixing them, this shade is perfect and that shade is perfect. Um, I just was feeling a little bit greener, which this is not a green shade, but it's just like a little bit grungy, grungy, grungier. So I'm just spraying my brush just because um, I need to. Oh, she is so stunning. Okay, so now what I'm going to do real quick is I'm actually going to take the shade. I'm going to take the shade Boom from this palette and I'm going to put it on the front part of my eye. Like just uh, if you look at the front three, front three, the front like third of your eye a smaller brush might be better but anybody got time for that so it kind of just gives that like color to color to color effect I'm obsessed with it okay so then for the lower lash line I'm just gonna do the same shades I did on the Top, where I took um, Rush, Butter, Mugshot, Roxanne, Secret, and Mocha. <laughs> With Secret and Mocha, I'm just going to put that on the outer corner of my eye and not drag it in any farther than the outer corner. And then I'm going to take a clean blending brush clean blending brush. I'm going to take the shade Rush and Butter and just mix that. Um, mix. I'm just going to blend that on above the shades and just try to make sure the outer corner and inner corner connect and everything is just blended out. Okay, so next I'm done with that. Next I'm going to do blush. So I'm jumping everywhere I know, but I have class soon. So next I'm going to do blush. blush. I'm going to take this um, Elf blush palette. I freaking love this palette. Um, it's, it is drugstore actually, but I just swirl it all in there. <laughs> dip in like if I'm going for more pinky or more what, I'll dip into that one Oof, just one extra time, and then I'll just that mirror's dirty. I'll just apply that to my cheeks. Ugh, I'm obsessed with this shade. Blush. I really just Elf should just come out with that shade you know i think they did it's called berry mary from them it's so gorgeous so i'm going to also dip into my sephora palette right here you don't need this palette this palette's not a necessity but i like to dip into the shimmer shades 
and just put those on top to give an extra something something love it and then i'm gonna um take my fluffy brush and just wipe away under my bronzer because girl that was bad and then what am i gonna do i'm actually gonna take highlighter today i'm just gonna stick with my sephora highlight um it's like my favorite if you can't tell if you're really someone who really likes beaming highlight like beaming beaming um if you spray your brush it just like amplifies the highlight to the max um even though it's kind of bright already but if you need that you got it okay so what i'm actually going to do right now before anything else is take my morphe prep and set and just melt everything together this is $15, just kind of up there, but it's so good, so good. And a good alternative, too, is the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. I like this one, too. Um, I don't know why I didn't use it. For the lips, I'm going to take this e.l.f. Mad. This is this, it's this matte lip product. I don't know what it is. It just twirls up. It's like a pencil. And I'm going to use this for my lips. I... They have some other shades too that are really nice for fall. So they have, um, this one's not really good for fall. They have uh, Rich Red, which is really nice fall red shade. And then this one is called Wine. This one is such a gorgeous um, fall shade. So beautiful. Love those. Um, so yeah, I think that is it. So I had to run to chapel real quick um, before I could finish. So... Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this Wet n Wild um, Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in the shade Simma Brown now. Just a brown eyeliner. Put that on the waterline. It really just adds to the look every single time. Ugh, this really just adds to the look and kind of makes it like a little bit more fall-ish. Do you know what I mean? I got my confirmation email. I just placed an e.l.f. order. e.l.f. came out with... Let's see. This set right here, it is the Modern Metals, and I'm shook, so I got it. I'm going to be broke for the holidays. Oh, well. I took that lip color off. I wasn't really, like, down for it, but we're going to move on for to mascara real quick. So I have two mascaras here. This one is from the drugstore. This is L'Oreal Lash Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. It's so great. It's such a great mascara, but I have waterproof, so it makes my lashes really clumpy, and I'm not really, like, into that. So I'm just going to take my Too Faced Mascara sample. But if you're interested in a good drugstore mascara, that is one of them. I really like, um... I really um, like this mascara, but I like better wands. Like, I like them when they're more spread out because these are, like, more likely to clump your eyebrows, your eyebrows, your eyelashes, where, like, some other mascaras just, like, won't because they're not horrible. Um, the ones with the spread out bristles won't, like, clump them up because that's just... The kind of mascara they are so i'm like ugh, you don't like this mascara so lips for what i'm going to try for lips is this wet and wild color icon um liquid lipstick and matte liquid lipstick in rebel rose oh that's better i wasn't really down for the elf one and the elf one is not transfer proof just want a little bit more blush i'm just gonna take my elf blush again and just add a smidge bit more. <laughs> okay, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I literally closed the last one out because I was running late and I was like, I, I need to, I need to just get there, and um, I need to get there. And I so I just left in the middle, but really that wasn't the end. This is the ending. <laughs> um. Some of these products are drugstore, some of them are not. Um, that's just, you know, the video, basically. Um, go check out my last videos. 
yeah, let's get into the verse. <laughs> so the verse for today is Psalms 37, verse 7. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Um, if you have any questions, concerns about the verse, let me know. Makeup underscore Marissa 612. Um, if you'd like to know more, again, contact that Instagram. DM me or comment below, whatever you prefer. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.